You have a new feature in Godot 3.2 that I find absolutely amazing. I had to share this. It's very simple. It's, see, we have the game here, and I want to go around the level with the camera to see how the enemies are behaving for playtesting, say, or to take screenshots. You now have an icon in the toolbar at the top that will override the game's camera with the editor's view. So you can see now I'm where that enemy is, and as I pan in the editor, I can go around the level, see the animation, see all the objects work. Not only that, I can zoom in and out of my level and see how the game's behaving. It's absolutely amazing. So all you have to do is click on that icon in the toolbar to toggle the feature on and off. And you can use the option to keep your window always on top. So if you don't have it in your desktop environment, you go to project, project settings, and you want to go to the display window category and make sure that always on top is on. It will make the window stay on top by default. So as you would expect, this feature also works in 3D. I'm gonna click the button to toggle the game camera override, and now I can control my game view from the 3D editor. It's interesting to see things in motion, how they look. Um, you can also use the keypad there to quickly switch camera, one for the front camera, three for the right side camera, let's say, and the top one with seven on the keypad. And you can use the Alt key to invert the effect. So Alt one for the rear camera, on three for the left and on seven from the bottom. Also, you can use the fly mode with shift F and this allows you to use WASD to navigate your world. It's a bit slow, but then if you keep the shift key down, you can move faster. So that way, when you have a, a given level and you want to find, for example, angles to take a screenshot, well, that's the kind of mode you would use, right? You can also navigate to you know, try to think about where to place cameras in the game for a game cinematic, for example. That's the kind of tool you would use. Do you want to use a shoulder view of your camera, of your character? Do you want to center it behind the camera, etc.? And that is it for this simple feature. I hope you like it. Uh, use it. It's pretty amazing, especially with two displays. It works very, very well.